Hey guys, it's me, Echo Craft. As you can see up on my screen, I have a bunch of knobs. So I watched uh, Woody's Piano Shack, and Woody actually bought some knobs from uh, Alibaba Express uh, for 100 knobs for, I think he said they were $20. I paid, I don't know, I think they were like $13, and then with shipping, it ended up being like $20. Um, but yeah, they're actually really nice, and um, I did an unboxing video, and I also outfitted them on a piece of equipment that you shall, uh, you shall see soon, okay? Um, but anyway, without further ado, here we go. Hi there, this is Echo Craft doing an unboxing on something that I got from AliExpress. That was actually, um, well, he did a video on it. Woody's Piano Shack. So Woody did a video on these and he recommended these knobs. So I ordered them and um, yeah. So here we go. Just gonna cut this open. And I was surprised at how fast they actually came because, uh, you know, these coming all the way from China. And I got a hundred knobs, just like Woody said. Ooh. Oh, these are cool. Holy moly. Yeah, I got a hundred knobs. Look at this, man. These are great. Great colors. Uh, yeah, so I got these at Woody, Woody's Piano Shack. He, um, he recommended these from Alibaba Express. And, uh, oh, they're nice. They got little rubber. They're nice, actually. Can you... You can see that. It looks like they're deep hole. And they're perfect at the bottom here because that's what I was finding out with a lot of knobs that they weren't, they were recessed too far in. And I've ordered tons of them and they didn't fit right. But um, I like the purple. So as you can just see, we'll dump out a bunch of them here. And uh, we've got like a red orange color. I'll just zoom in a little so y'all can see. And we've got purple, we've got gray, green, yellow. Um, yeah, we've got blue, it's a nice blue. Now I got these because I'm gonna use them probably um, on, uh, here, I just moved them over to the camera a little bit more. It's like, I, you know, I got these because uh, I, I'm gonna actually mod out the donor B1 uh, a little bit because everybody says it's such an ugly little keyboard, a uh, little uh, TB303 clone. And I decided to put some new knobs. Oh, I like the white ones with the black too. Those are really cool. That's sharp. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so 100 knobs, not too shabby. I also ordered more. Those will be coming soon. Those are kind of interesting. They've got like um, around here, around the um, the uh, uh, proximity line, They there's like little lines that uh, go around it too. So uh, this looks really good, man. Um, and they feel nice, you know. 20 bucks for 100 knobs. Oh, we've got some black ones in here. I didn't see those. Let me get some of those out. Black with white. Yeah, those are pretty sharp too. Very cool. Um, so yeah, so, you know, let's get to uh, putting them on. And see what happens. Cool beans. Okay, so here's the Donner synth bass, the B1, which I actually like. A lot of people don't like it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, and what I did was I got these knobs because, um, I don't know, I just thought I'd outfit them in like, you know, uh, let's see what we got here. So let's do, um, I don't know if I'm going to touch the big volume knob, but let's take this guy off. And they're really hard to get off, actually. They're kind of on there pretty good. But I was going to outfit it in blue. I thought the blue might look kind of cool. Oh, those fit nice. That feels nice. But here's the problem. So the problem is, let me see if I can get this one off. Jeez, I don't want to break anything here because these shafts are only plastic too. That's kind of the bummer thing. I don't think they're metal shafts. Jeez, that's a tough one. Let me pull this off and see if I can get it. Yeah, this is tough. God, <laughs> who thought that this, this would be this tough to get off? But um, yeah, I don't want to break that. All right, well, let's try another one. 
let's do the VCO, VC, uh, VCO here. So this is the VCO. Wow, these are really tough to get off, man. Well, I managed to get all of them off um, because I had to use a little tool to do that because they were. I hope I didn't damage anything. Um, but yeah, so I was gonna do uh, the cutoff filter, and let's see. So maybe we'll do VCO. Uh, let's see, VCO pitch will keep gray. Kind of like that because the pitch we want just stable. We we'll stay in the middle. Saturation knob here. We've got the tone knob. We'll do tone. Uh, let's see, what color should we do tone in? Let's do tone in red too. We'll keep we'll keep it pretty uniformed. Let's see, where is this guy? There we go. Tone. All right. And then we'll do the filter. Let's do the filter. Um, well, let's do the filter and let's see. I got a whole bunch of them here. Let's, let's dump them out. There we go. And I don't know. Let's do the filter in uh, purple. Sure, why not? Filters in purple. There it is. And so that's the resonance, uh, that's the cutoff filter. Resonance filter is gonna be in green and depth will be in purple as well. Actually, you know what, let's do them all in purple at the top here. There we go. Um, and let's see, envelope. Let's do the envelopes in green and the accent in green. And then we've got delay. So the delay we'll do in, we do the delays in white. That looks kind of nice. So yeah, so this looks pretty good. I like this. Delay in white. Need one more white one. There we go. Perfect, so we've got delay feedback, we've got uh, timing, we've got accent, yeah. And they feel better, like they're, you know, they are, you know, it's kind of tough to get, but you don't really need to get in there. Um, and the switches and everything look good. I might just keep the uh, volume knob like this, I don't know, I think I have a bigger one somewhere. Um, I could just do volume yellow, but, uh, yeah, I was gonna do them all in blue and see what look what looked like. Um, but I don't know, it might change my mind, who knows. Now that I have them off, we'll see what happens. But there you have it. You know, Woody's Piano Shack, pretty cool stuff. Um, actually, let's see what this looks like. We'll put a black one there. Oh, well, it's kinda cool. You know, having the big knob on there um, is nice. But that does look kind of cool. All right, maybe we'll leave that like that. Yeah, I like it. And we'll leave the VCO in the middle. And there's the, the uh, saturation buttons. Cool. Uh, yeah, I like it. I like the way that looks. It looks pretty dope. And uh, I don't know, I think I made this look better. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, Woody's Piano Shack. Um, check out his channel. Um, I got these knobs on Alibaba Express. I'll put the link down in the uh, description below. And also, um, check out uh, Liquid Stands. Um, they make really cool stands. I'll put the link in the bo in below uh, on that as well. Uh, and uh, yeah, so looks pretty cool. I like it. Who knows? We'll see what happens. All right, so look at those suckers. They look pretty good. They feel nice. Um, I like them. Uh, I will tell you that, you know, the donor, you know, it's not a great piece of gear to look at, but I mean, it looks okay. Um, and the screenshot that's up there that I have up there isn't really great quality, but um, anyway, I like them. Uh, I'm going to leave a description, um, a link in the description below. Um, you can check them out. 
you know, it's always cool to like kind of uh, customize your gear. Uh, what's really cool is I, you know, I bought the chicken head knobs for my wasps, wasps, um, for the Behringer wasps, the two of them that I own and, and they worked out really well. Um, and these, like I said, were only like, you know, 20 bucks for a hundred. Um, but yeah, you know, check it out. See if you like them. Um, I think they feel nice. They remind me a lot of the, um, Autoria ones that are on the matrix brute and, on the uh, drum brute impact that I have. They're very rubbery feeling. Um, and they, the colors look pretty cool. So uh, yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little ditty. And like I always say, stay frosty, stay creative and um, peace.